Jose Guerra. Um, as you can see, I'm not from here. As you can hear, I'm not from here. Uh, <laughs> I'm Mexican. Um, so you have an exotic item at hand at the moment. Um, I really wish I could fit more the Mexican stereotype. I know that I'm not that short. I wish I had a big mustache, a big sombrero with me, a poncho, just lying around in a cactus, just chilling, <laughs> having some unnamed alcohol on my side, on a bottle with a triple X. Nobody knows what it is. It could be bleach. It could be tequila. Who knows? Who cares? It's Mexico. Live life. It would be so easy to live to the stereotype. You wouldn't have to worry about fashion at all. You just wake up every day, take out your poncho, dust it off, put it back again, sort it. No need to go to H&M, Martin Spencer's, nothing of that fashion. But if I'm gonna live up to my stereotype, I will need for you people to also live to your stereotype. I want you to be the proper Englishman, uh, having a sip of tea, uh, greeting everyone on the top of a high tap, high, what's it called? A top hat, yeah, that's the one. Top of the morning to you. How are you? Walking with a cane, with a monocle, even though you don't have any eye problems, just having a monocle. You know, like Monopoly guy. Uh, being completely racist, being honest to yourselves, getting to new land and going, I just discovered this. This is mine. Who are you people? Get on away. To women to also be that kind of old, uh, old timey women, dressing in long guns, not having the right to vote. You know, proper stereotypes. Um, I have a friend and she told me this. The best way, the best place to be a Mexican is outside of Mexico. And I just leave that to the fullest. Um, I have become an exotic item, as I told you, in this country. I'm basically a guacamole parrot. Guacamole parrot. Sorry for my accent. <laughs> you know, I'm majestic and delicious at the same time. Uh, thank you for the laugh. <laughs> and I have become part of a minority that I wasn't thinking about becoming. becoming. And I play that card every time. In the office, it's just the best thing that you can be. I just like how all my white colleagues turn from, from white to red as I start speaking. Like, ooh, what is he gonna say? Ooh, why is he so racist and I cannot say anything back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know it. Being, I mean, being a minority and playing this card, I get off of many, many situations. I can be an, as annoying as I want on a, on a conversation with someone, and nobody can shut me down. If somebody was like, Jose, can you please shut down? All right. Because I'm Mexican, right? <laughs> you don't want the opinion of the minority in here. I get it. I get it. I get out of shorts as well. Uh, if I'm in a party and it's time to do the dishes, Jose, would you mind doing the dishes? Oh, because you don't want to do that job, right? Leave it to the minority to do it. Leave it to the Mexican. Sure, I'll do it. Like, no, no, sorry, Jose, I'll do it. Do you want some dessert? Yeah, make it double, please. <laughs> um, I don't like people with beards. I know there are a couple of them. <laughs> and I, I've seen a couple of them. I don't like men with beard. Women with beard is okay, right? I can pull them, kiss them, send them off. <laughs> but men with beard, uh, uh, I don't trust them. Uh, I don't know what they're hiding behind. Why are you hiding behind that beard? <laughs> exactly. Why do you have to hide? Get a mask. They're more excited. <laughs> what is behind that beard? How many germs you have growing in there? Uh, how many meals can you make from the food that you have on a week? I'm pretty sure your Sunday roast goes like this into them. I know, disgusting. <laughs> Why do people like people with beard? Um, but to be fair, is <laughs> I cannot grow a beard. If 
you see closely, this is a month into work <laughs> progress for a beard. I cannot grow a beard, I have a baby face. And I think that is very, very, um, it's not fair for us baby faces. Because we have to put the work into trying to, to, to get to a girl. We have to be gentlemen, we have to pay the bill. If you're a guy with a beard, you just grab an axe and you hit a tree. And you can build up a, tr a tree house, you can have a fire all set. You seem like you are a manly man, that you can do things. Don't you feel like that? No. <laughs> well, most manly men, they do. Um, I just don't like people with beer. <laughs> it's unfair for me. Uh, I think that's all for me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.